Welcome to this presentation. In today's presentation, I will go over spatial and graph license, which is now included if you have an Oracle database uh, license. And I will go over what features are now available in this domain and how can you use this, how can you enable uh, your business to, to take advantage of these new features. So first of all, for who and what is included. So this change occurred the 5th of December 2019, last year. And it also applies for advanced analytics, which is called Oracle Machine Learning now. And it's, it's both for Oracle databases running on Standard Edition and Enterprise Edition. And you just need an active release in order to, to start using this. So that means version 11.2.0.4 and onwards. However, it's worth noting it doesn't cover big data, spatial and graph license. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of different spatial capabilities. We, you can go ahead and store geometries now, both 2D and 3D geometries. And you can use all our proven uh, spatial functions, which comes with this. Uh, so that's spatial function on operators to analyze your spatial data. We also provide some tools for visualization and, and analysis. So we have the spatial map visualization, formerly known as Map Viewer and also a new tool released last summer called Spatial Studio, which can visualize and also do spatial analysis. You can also go ahead and work with sensor and imagery data. And as you can see, there is a bunch of other features. You have a geocoder, routing server, tracking server, and so on. And we also follow the Open Geospatial Consortium standards for web services uh, APIs. I mentioned the Oracle Spatial Studio, and this is free to, to download and use. You just need a database license. And it's a no-code environment, so you can do your visualization and spatial analysis without having to do any SQL queries. To go over some references, we have the Ordnance Survey in Ireland. It's Ireland's national mapping agency. And as you can see, they have huge amount of data. They have 900 plus terabyte of data, which cover the whole of Ireland. So they need to be able to handle quite massive workflows and also to consume this data and analyze this data and they use spatial and graph to do so in in the oracle database and they feel like they achieved scalability reliability and performance doing so another reference is newstar element one which is a cloud-based uh, geomarketing platform and they work in a cloud-based platform or they provide a cloud-based platform uh, for retail and demographic analysis and they do a lot of spatial database analytics on raster data but also network data and they're also working with quite big data sets and they're also using spatial oracle spatial to do so and they feel like they achieved uh, very good uh, performance performance improvements but also high scalability and they feel like it's a secure platform. If we shift to graph, we support two different ways of uh, using graph. So we have the property graph and the RDF graph. So that's two different ways of uh, using graph. For the property graph, we have the PGX in memory uh, graph engine and the PGQL graph query language. And we provide over 50 graph algorithms, which you can go ahead and try and experiment with. When it comes to RDF graph database, we have the SparkQL graph query language. We also follow the V3C standard support for semantic data and ontologies. 
since they were the ones who, who suggested the, the RDF system of graphs, uh, where they're talking about linked data and the semantic web, where all information is connected. If we go over some use cases, there is plenty of them. So uh, one thing is community detection and influencer analysis. So if you have a network, for example, this is quite common in, for example, Facebook to see who knows which person. You can kind of identify who is linked to who. As, so you can identify influencers and recommendations and so on. You can also do things like product recommendation by seeing uh, patterns in the, in, in the graph. And you can also do things like pattern matching. So one use case is uh, tax fraud detection, for example. And there is other use cases, as you can see on this slide as well. Another thing worth noting is that we can use graph uh, together with machine learning. So you compute your graph metrics and then you add it to a machine learning model to build a model and score or classify data. So that's a quite new combination uh, which take advantage of uh, the increasing number of use uh, cases for machine learning as well. I men mentioned that uh, graph could be used for fraud detection. This is done by Paysafe. Uh, they're using Graph to identify fraud. As you can see, they have 500,000 payments a day and they need to fastly identify fraud and they're using Graph for this uh, by analyzing the payment flows. So the bigger message here is that the Oracle database support all kind of data workflows. So you can use work and use with spatial data convert your database to a graph database, apply machine learning directly on your data set, and work with all kinds of uh, data formats. You should not choose to have an, uh, different databases for different kind of workloads uh, just because they, they, your database can't support that kind of workload. So we really truly believe we deliver a converged database where you can do all kinds of workloads. So that's everything I wanted to present today. If you have any questions, feel, fr feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, thanks for listening.